Welcome to the Pre-Snap Podcast, Props Edge Edition, presented by Line Star. Alongside Tyler Weeman, I'm Shannon Somerville. We've got your best player prop bets in the NFL for Week 12 on the Prize Picks app. If you don't already have the Prize Picks app, make sure to download it. New users who use the promo code BetFleet can get up to $100 of your deposit match. Make sure to download it. Use the link below, and it's a great way to place those prop bets. Legal in most states. Go win some money, download the app. Also, if you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and sign up for notifications. You also wanna sign up for notifications because we are coming out with a contest that we are starting Mm -hmm. today. If we get all of our five bets right, one lucky commenter will win $200. Straight cash. And if you're betting all five of our props on prize picks, you'll win $200 there too. We got a nice little cash prize there. To help you save up to buy the commanders. <laughs> I like it. Which is what we're trying to do, one right? One week away, just keep piling them in the piggy bank. Hey, we were four and one last week, so racking up that money. Mm-hmm. Speaking of commanders, our first prop bet on the Prize Picks app is Washington Commanders quarterback Taylor Heineke over 210 and a half passing yards. He had 211 against the Eagles two weeks ago. An Eagles defense that ranks second in pass yards allowed per game and he's been absolutely on fire with his receivers and a testament to the chemistry that he has with those receivers they've had zero drops since heineke took over in his last five starts and just to put that in context they had 13 and six games with carson wentz as quarterback he's especially establishing chemistry with scary terry um and i mean he even had a t-shirt printed that said f it terry's down there somewhere and they've just really embraced Taylor Heineke as their quarterback. That's going to be a nightmare for an Atlanta Falcons defense that ranks 28th in pass defense DVOA. Tyler, how do you see this Heineke prop playing out? You've been a big proponent of his. I I have. I I love the story. You know, they keep giving him an opportunity. He does fine. And then the next season, they kick him to the curb. This season, once again, he's got an opportunity. He's 4-1 and with the team. And when he's winning... He's buying Jordans in the opposing team's colors, so I I love it. He's also buying them now for his teammates. He's just got a great personality. It's infectious. The players love him. He's kind of one of those guys that elevates every single person Mm -hmm. around him. He's hysterical. He had in the uh, airplane on the way home from Mm -hmm. after beating the Eagles a big bucket of beer. I mean, the guy happened to not love him. he unfortunately got in trouble for. Hey. But but hey. Why you gotta gotta (laughs) rain on his parade, NFL? Come on. But I, I love it. He, he's been – it's been a great swor- story. He's been really fun. And the Falcons are 9 of 11 to opposing quarterbacks have gone over mm-hmm. this 210.5 number. Atlanta's averaging 277 yards a game that they're giving up passing. Heineken's averaging 206. And those 206 is against much more difficult defenses Mm -hmm. than what he's facing the Falcons. So I love this line. I think it's too low. I love the story of Heineke. Let's just slam it over. Just a fun player to watch. And Mm -hmm. so just take this bet just for the story alone. It's it's an awesome story. I mean, if people aren't familiar with it, three years ago, he was sleeping on his sister's couch, got the call, said, hey, we need you to start. It was during COVID when, Mm -hmm. you know, people were running thin in their rosters, gets the call. And then a few weeks later, he was in the playoffs going toe to toe with Tom Brady. The commanders almost beat him in that game. And that was the year they won the Super Bowl. Yeah. And and that's what I've talked about where he keeps getting an opportunity and they kind of kick him to the curb Mm -hmm. and gets another one. But every time he's had a shot, he's done well and he's put his team in position to win and he's doing it again this year. And I love it. The teams behind him, Ron uh, (laughs) Riverboat, Ron's seems like he's behind him so let's go let's go a fun player to watch another fun player to watch is Dolphins wide receiver Tyreek Hill we're going over 88 and a half receiving yards and that line is just downright disrespectful to the cheetah who is leads the NFL with 114.8 yards per game he's absolutely transformed this Miami offense no one is having a more impactful season than Tyreek Hill Man, he is unguardable, the fastest player in the NFL. And going up against the Houston Texans defense that ranks dead last in pass defense DVOA versus the opposing team's wide receiver one. What do you like about the Cheetah this week? Yeah, well, our line star projection is 105.5. Tyreek is averaging 114.8 yards. He's hit the over in 6 of 10. 
And this team is a pass first team. And I mentioned that because the Houston run D is also terrible. And that's, what's really getting the, you know, publicized Their teams are just destroying them on the run, but they can also destroy them on the pass. And the dolphins are likely to destroy them on the pass before they kind of go to the run. So I love this line. Tyreek's having a Cooper Cup like season. And last year, if we saw Cooper Cup at 88.5, mm-hmm. we would have been slamming the over and we should be doing the same for Tyreek right now. We've been targeting a lot of teams lately that mm-hmm. have been playing the Houston Texans yes. for good reason. They just haven't really been able to defend nope. really anyone. Anything. One of the worst teams yeah. in the NFL right now. From one of the worst teams to one of the best teams and one of the best players, Titans running back Derrick Henry over 90 and a half rush yards another disrespectful line to the king king henry's averaging 101 yards per game that's the best in the nfl and he's gone over in five of the last seven games in fact he's gone over a hundred in that game triple digits come on he's the angriest runner in the nfl posterizes defenders he's got the stiff arms he'll hurdle you and just make you look like a fool in those highlights going up against the cincinnati defense that's middle of the pack they rank 16th in rush defense dvoa Tyler, it is hard to bet against Derrick Henry right now. It absolutely is. Over the last five games, he's averaged 120.4 rushing yards per game. That is 30 yards above the line on here. So I love this line. Uh, Our line star projection is 105.6 for King Henry. And the Bengals are giving up almost 90 yards rushing a game. So... You, you're talking about one of the best rushers in the NFL coming in with the Bengals giving up yeah. an average of that. So I love the over here. I mean, the Bengals are a favorable matchup, but you really like him against any team that he plays. Totally, He's just an unbelievable player. It's at the point this season, he's having the type of season where when he was a 2000 mm-hmm. yard rusher, he's, you know, he's not quite there, right. but he's having a very good season. And Almost any time I see his line under 100, Mm -hmm. I'm going to be considering to hit it. If it's at 90, I'm definitely hitting it. Yeah, hammer the over on that one, 90 Mm -hmm. and a half rush yards. Now it's time for Tyler and I's prop bets. Tyler, where are you going this week? So I'm going to go to Seattle uh, running back Kenneth Walker, over 73.5 rushing yards. This is another just disrespectful line. Mm Mr. Walker's averaging 88.4 yards a game since becoming the starter. Over that span, he has hit this over in three of five games. And the Raiders are ranked 32nd, allowing 111.3 mm-hmm. yards a game to the running back. I love the over here. This Raiders rush D is terrible. Let's go. On the other side of that matchup, I am mm-hmm. taking Raiders wide receiver Javante Adams over 85 and a half receiving yards on the prize picks app. Another disrespectful line, just way too low for a wide receiver that's had over 120 receiving yards the last three games. He's gone over in seven of 10 games. This is a guy who's fast physical, best hands in the NFL, which will be a matchup nightmare for the Seahawks, who rank 24th in pass defense DVOA versus the opposing team's wide receiver one. Not even that dysfunctional Raiders team can diminish Adams' greatness. I mean, we can see the difference he makes after leaving the Packers, who are now 4-6, and six, and Aaron Rodgers is struggling with that offense without him. So take Adams over 85 and a half receiving yards. Absolutely. You know, one of the things that I thought is really interesting this week is normally throughout the season, we've seen underdog mm-hmm. being a little looser with the lines. This week, it's prize picks. All these lines were way higher on underdog this week. Yeah, I was shocked when I saw Devontae mm-hmm. Adams at 85 and a half. I believe it yeah. was 97 on underdog fantasy. So some really great yep. value this week on the prize picks app. Make yep. sure to download that app and use think, the promo code bet. <laughs> yep. Make sure you use that. Yeah. I mean, Walker was 79. I think Henry was almost 100. Pretty much all of these were much higher on underdog. Maybe it's a Thanksgiving week special. A little gift. We'll take it. Thankful for that. I love it. Let's take a look at our prop bets. A recap. Heineke over 210 and a half passing yards. The Cheetah over 88 and a half receiving yards. King Henry crown him over 90 and a half rush yards. Tyler's going Kenneth Walker over 73 and a half rushing yards. And I'm taking Devontae Adams over 85 and a half receiving yards. Remember to tail our bets on the Prize Picks app and use our special contest this week or enter in our special contest this week. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe to our channel, 
and comment below comment anything if you have any mm -hmm. comments about our bets if you like straight up want to fade them let mm -hmm. us know in the comments and enter in that contest because if we get all of our props right all five one lucky commenter will win 200 bucks mm -hmm. who doesn't want that and all you got to do is comment below so easy so easy tyler you are uh, ineligible i know you want to but i'll just bet it <laughs> you'll just bet on the prize cool. picks app there you go good luck in all your prop bets this week and make sure to like this video and comment win the 200 dollars. good luck to you have a happy thanksgiving we'll see you guys next time have a good one guys bye